U.S. Navy deploys nuclear-powered submarine to Cuba. The U.S. Navy sent a nuclear-powered submarine to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, after a fleet of Russian warships and a submarine reached the island Wednesday ahead of planned military exercises. The USS Helena, a nuclear-powered fast-attack submarine, arrived at the waters near the U.S. base on Thursday. The stop is part of a routine port visit as the submarine transits through the Southcom region, the command said. It said the vessel's location and transit were previously planned. Biden administration officials said the exercises are not considered a threat to the U.S., but the Navy has sent several of its ships to shadow the Russian vessels. So a couple of things here. Number one, the Russians send theirs as a show of strength. They have the hypersonic missiles on board, everything. They're on their way to Cuba. They're almost saying, we're here. We can touch you just like you're trying to touch us. Immediately, the Americans send their nuclear submarine directly to that area, but not because of the Russians and not because they're there. Right. Obviously, it's because of the Russians and because they're there. It's standard operating procedure that when the enemy comes near your coast, you should be shadowing them and keeping an eye on them, specifically the submarines. That's just how it works. So just be honest. And then the Biden officials saying they're not considered a threat to the U.S. They are considered a threat to the U.S.? Any military movement near your borders are considered a threat to your country. It's kind of common sense because you don't know what orders they might receive and what could happen. So, yes, it is considered a threat. You just don't want to admit that it's considered a threat. Or are you really that lost? It's absolutely insane. But again, people, tensions are through the roof and anything can happen at any moment the minute we removed.